to our weekly Max Coates Clear Cup League. This week coming from Zaldek. I believe it's 17 laps. 20 minute qualifying as usual. And then on to the 17 laps. So just waiting for people to leave the pits. Well, I believe that's MGR Tim. We'll be out first. Oh no, we have got some other people out on track there. So that NGR Fraser is the first to make it out onto the track. But Cam will definitely be looking to get another win tonight under his hat. So a couple of no-shows tonight for the race, which is a real shame. It was heating up, but I think most of the, the regulars are in. RS Gym and then RCF of course who's battling for the top spot is E do it looks like missing NGR E do as well who was one of those that could take the championship Ballard's getting flown around there as so one misses the breaking point all about getting the heat in the tyres at this point here so here's Edgy off raises he'll be the first to start time up will go on board with him as he just starts his attack on the final corner into the home straight So don't forget tyres won't be at the optimal temperature just yet. So lap times will improve as the qualifying session goes down. Back end flies out there, he gains control though. That will obviously hurt this lap time for him though unfortunately. Lift off oversteer there. Stay on board with him for his first lap. Need to be careful of the cut track penalties on that section. So let's see what sort of time Fraser gives us here. Yeah, Mad Marshall, lap time invalidated, track limit warning is coming up quite a lot for him. So we'll see the first time is a 1.50. Uh, NGR Edu is in now. No, I think he was joined after the lobby started, so I don't think that is going to help, unfortunately. RCF has now taken the top spot, but just ahead of Fraser at the moment. NGR Martin in third, so that's a good time from Fraser then. NGR Scooby now in third. Ayatel in fifth at the moment. It's a bit of a distance between him and the top spot though, 10 seconds at the moment. RS Jim. And Cam's now taken first. 
RSGM, normally one of them that we see build up his lap times normally starts quite slow and then with each lap progresses up the table but already into second there this is a track so solder that we've we've raced that many times Just, excuse me why am i why is it all tangled up so solder we've raced that many times in next gen leagues in a variety of cars not flashlights to say thank you to Edo to move out the way there Now, of course, with Edu. Oh, is it? Uh, no, no, I don't think Edu's going to be tracking. I'm joining late. I'm sure he joined late. Now, I knew Edu is one of the faster guys out there, so. It'll be uh, interesting to see where he does actually turn up on it so these timings here that we're seeing with Cam on top RS Jim may not be as accurate as we believe and your phrases into the pits and your mind's now moved up to third there as well oh Jim just coming up to the start straight now let's go on board with Jim for this next lap what I'll do I will stay quiet as he now tries to make his move up to first place stays in second at the moment let's see if he improves now So we approach the end of this time lap. Side by side of Edu there coming up to the final corners. But he managed to get past without any incident. So he doesn't improve on his lap time there. So Cam leading the way at the moment over half a second in it as well. Nothing between RCF, Polo and RS Gym. John Martin in fourth. Let's see if he can improve. Fraser's still in fifth. And John Migu, we've seen how they've ups and downs in this season. Just over 10 minutes left in this qualifying session. There comes RCF. We'll see if he can improve on his lap time now. Just two corners left to go. Will he improve and will he jump up the table? He does. He moves to second. And NGL Martin moves up to fourth, uh, up to third. RS Jim pushed down to fourth, but of course, 
Edu, we're not sure where he is on the board at the moment. He could be within that top spot there. Oh, where's, oh Jim's going into the pits there. RCF in the pits as well. But NGR Martin running very well here. Tricky part of the track, that, especially with track limits on, you've got to be so precise in the chicanes. He's just approaching the end of his lap now. So if I do keep going quiet, just on some technicals if he's trying to get the stream shared. Does he improve? No, he stays where he is. Pushed him back out on track. Cam's now in the pits. Let's have a look at some of the others further down the field. Josh Skibi is in seventh at the moment. See if he improves on this lap here. He doesn't. Shadow Stalker running well in eighth. NGR Mad Marshall who had that good battle with NGR Taylor last week. Unfortunately NGR Taylor can't make the race in this week. But he moves up to 10th there. Oh, it keeps the keeps the car going and within the white lines, well held around corner one. This curve coming up if you touch it just wrong that one there it will throw the car onto two wheels so cam and angel martin in the pits rcf still aren't on track trying to find oh i think that might discount that lap there Pretty sure that that will discount the lap from when he went on the chicanes. I could be wrong. comes Will, he now jump up to the top, comes in the pits, can only watch if it does, so he, thankfully for Cam, Cam stays where he is, RCF stays out on track, tries to go, you can see the opposite lock there, let's keep the back end from going out, cars can be very very tricky to drive sometimes
So Cam is now back out on track. The top four all out on track at the moment. Top five within a second of each other. And Oris Jim rounding out that top five. Do apologise about the silence, just trying to sort, sort the stream out. Having a few technical problems in the booth tonight. So I can't actually see any of your comments at the moment. I'll try and get this sorted as quickly as we can. But Amiga has now jumped up to second and Cam must be very worried about that because that time is very very close to his RCF still really hasn't improved on his lap at the moment So Amiga's in the pits. Jeff Fraser currently in six there, just outside of the one second club. But then Joe Martin approved now. Doesn't just over two minutes left of this qualifying session. Oh, a little bit of sideways action from him there. He's obviously pushing hard. He's probably going to be able to get this and one more lap in as well. He should be able to cross the line just before the timer ends oh that might discount this lap unfortunately like it just took a little bit too much of the curbs there you can hear the car unsettled is it got airborne what he needs to do is just push on and get that get across that line before the timer runs out now. This is gonna be the last chance that RCF has before the time ends. Camera I was going to say, it's not really focusing on Jim there for some reason. Oh, takes a lot of the curb there, gets airborne. That's definitely going to discount the lap. I mean, maybe it hasn't. He's not pitted in. Normally we see them just retire to the pits if the lap doesn't work. So Scooby G on YouTube there. So he's had no practice. He's... Got looking after his kids this weekend. So Scooby da still down seven. He's pitted in. Uh, Scooby, if you are watching this, uh, if you could just let us know where Edu has qualified, that would be fantastic. This is the end of qualifying. Looks like he did get across that line. It's going to be RS Jim's 
last lap is it going to prove I don't think he is I think that lap would have been discounted we shall see no RS Jimmy moved up to second I would have sworn that would have discounted the lap but clearly not fantastic performance for him at the end lucky for Cam I mean just outside of Cam's time there we'll see if Cam can improve and just put a little bit more of a, a gap between them so does he extend on his lead no got RCFE he's got just over a minute left to go So we will try and get confirmation of where Edu did qualify. So we'd have to try and quickly scroll through the the board at the start of the race. So RCF approaches the final two corners. This could be an upset for Cam if he gets it right at the end. Now he does improve on his time. He does move up to third, pushes Eddie Armiga down into fourth. So I mean he did gain something on that last lap, so he will be pleased with it. It's probably not the position he wanted to be in. Cam has really, really shown his true potential as this season has gone on. But it will be interesting to see where Edu did come. But racing is about to start. In our Max Coats Clear Cup. Brought to you by Next Gen Racing. Try and find Edu, where is he? So he did get six in the end. Oh, not the best camera angles there, I'm afraid. So looks like Cam did get a good start. Our team has got Amiga coming up, so Amiga got a very good start at this. Oh no, is that? I mean, that was NGR Martin who maybe turned in on Jim and caught him. RS Jim sadly got the raw end of that deal and has been pushed down to seventh. So now he's got some work to do as he's in the middle of a huge line of clear of cut cars. Oh, that's someone I think that's Shadow Stalker that was going off in the dirt there in the distance. RCF is in second. It's got Edu just behind him there. Ajar Miga. And NGR Martin and Scooby Fraser just coming up the rear of them as well. But Cam, look at that. I think that's NGR Edu. He's now getting side by side with RS Jim. I think that's a slowdown penalty for that Edu had there. The penalty's not been kind to Edu this season in a few of our league races penalties have brought up a lot of conversation again contact with RS Jim but the battle for second is raging on Amiga as always lights blaring letting people know he means business got Edgy R. Martin who may be the topic of conversation after the race for that turn one with RS Jim wheels lock there as he almost power slides left and the thing is will that give him a slow down penalty he's 
keep it going at the moment. It's got NGR Scooby just behind there with NGR Fraser following him as well. There's NGR Edu and RS Jim just behind them. So RS Jim still in seventh. Oh, side by side with Edu there as well. That was going to end in miseries. They both approach the chicane. Well, this has not been Jim's race at all in terms of... He'll probably have a few words to say. This is only lap two and he's been at the brunt of... Many people clear as cut cars. That's Edgy team going off in the dirt in the distance there. Gets back on track and gets going. I think RS Jim will feel like he's probably got a target painted on his car tonight with the way some of the driving standards have been against him. But rules are racing, especially on lap one. You don't want to cause incidents. I mean, obviously we only see it from this perspective, so it will be interesting to obviously see it from the point of view of the drivers. But it did look to me, and I can only speak from our angle, it did look like NGR Martin did slightly turn in on Jim on that corner one. Which then pretty much has put Jim to where he is at the moment. He's got a lot of work to do now. But Cam absolutely having the drive of his life at the moment. RCF pulling a little bit away from the guys of just behind him there, Jay Amiga. This fight isn't over for him. A little dab of the brakes there. Two wheel action going through the chicane. And Martin still has Scooby putting on the pressure on him here. And you ask me one of them that we normally see. Not normally putting the top times in and qualifying, but once the race gets going, he is a formidable opponent. Is he going to think about attacking here? No, he slots back in. He's just letting Edgy Martin know he's there. But we've got Edgy Fraser and Edu just behind Scooby as well. Edgy Omega close to RCF here though. But thankfully for Cab, everyone behind him has got some kind of battle going on and it's just allowing him to concentrate on getting that perfect line and just putting the distance between him and everyone else and it just may be once someone does get out of that battle he may be too far ahead for them to do anything of course 17 laps a lot can happen and John Martin here trying to apply the pressure as much as he can. Oh, gets onto the grass there a little bit. That could unsettle the car a lot, which it does. Back end comes out. That's a terrible place to get in a muddle there. Thankfully, no one was close enough. And chaos is avoided, thankfully, for NGR Martin. And, of course, Amiga. You can see there, he just went left, wheels touched the grass and settled the car. So now he's got all that hard work to do. So not only get back up to RCF, but to keep the guys behind him at bay. And it does push you on. You see someone in front of you have a moment. You do find an extra bit of speed. Got a few extra horsepower in your car. And this is now going to allow RCF just to concentrate on trying to catch up to Cam. Catching up and trying to catch up is 
a big difference, especially with the way Cam is driving at the moment. He's not put a foot wrong. He had a great qualifying session. Cam has driven in our Clio Cup leagues for quite a while now. He loves these cars. As I said, we've visited this track many, many times. See there, just using as much of the track as he can. The RS Jim still down in eight. He'll probably be quite frustrated with the happenings of the race in the first two laps. As we just wait for the camera to try and focus on someone. So we've got Edgel Scooby still in fifth. So a real battle for third here at the moment. Okay, I'll wait for the camera to come around. Amiga followed by Edgel Martin, followed by Edu. Little flash of lights there from Edu. Not sure what the light flashing is about. Very, very close to Edgel Martin here. Let's go on board with Edu. Late break in there from Edu. He makes the move stick, moves up into fourth place. Well, John Martin sticking to him like glue. Scooby happy to tag along. Lights playing on Edu's car as well. Slightly pulling away from Scooby by the looks of it now. Oh, it's Edgel Martin. Back end comes out. He's able to keep it going, though, but he's going to lose some time from that. As we wait for the camera just to get back on to someone. Edgel Martin's on. Oh, Edu's got in front of NGR Amiga, so Edu's in third. Whether Amiga maybe had a slowdown penalty, perhaps. Well, that's allowed Edgel Martin right back into this fight after he had that little upset at the chicane but it's not done too much damage for him and yeah, me he'll probably be kicking himself so now he's just got to try and stick with Edu looks like he's concentrations turned up to 110% at the moment Oh, runs out wide just as I said that. That's probably going to be a slowdown penalty for Amiga. Maybe not. And John Martin side by side. Positions jostling. Oh, again, a little couple of wheels on the grass there. Needs to be careful. We see what happens. It does a little dab of the brakes there from NGR Scooby. NGR Scooby looking very composed at the moment. Just staying with them. Probably just waiting for someone to make a mistake. And then he will pounce if they do. And heavy braking into this section of the track.
So there is one of those very technical tracks. And Amiga is bringing it back to Edu here. I mean, that might have been a slowdown penalty for Edu there. So it slows down, slots back in behind NGR Martin in just the front of NGR Scooby. NGR Scooby's got NGR Fraser just behind him there as well. And Jaskiwi just can't seem to find a break to get past. Ah, I think that is a slowdown penalty for Edu there. So NJR Fraser, I think, has got in front of him as well. Yes, he has. So Amiga now back up to third. And RCF and Cam have really managed to pull away from these guys here. And Cam has even increased his lead on RCF just over three seconds of a lead at the moment for him we will try and monitor that through the race as well so we watch this battle for third unfold you can see NJR Fraser let's go on board with him as he brings this fight to NGR Scooby. Fever in the brakes there. Gets a good exit. He's got a good drive. Oh, Scooby needs to be careful. You can just see how unsettled the car's become there. As the camber changes on this course. dips and the bumps really really do unsettle these little Clio Cup cars lock up there I think from NGR Martin they're on board with NGR Amiga 1984 now see him just easing off there before the braking zone so he doesn't go into the back of NGR Martin Gets a very good exit out of this corner. He's got a good drive coming down the home straight. Side by side, coming up to corner one. Five of them going for this third place at the moment. No one wants to make a mistake here. A touch from Amiga and NGR Martin there. And NGR Amiga's going to come out of this. The victor, he does. And NGR Scooby now trying to think about an attack. Slots back in though. Oh, goes over the curbs there. That could be a slowdown penalty. That looked like to me. It's just a bit too much of the curbs taken. Maybe not, though. Maybe he'll just take the penalty that's given to him. Let's put a little bit of distance between him. And Martin, he's got Edu coming right up behind him now as well. Scooby and Fraser still following in this battle. So RCF just in front there. Again, Cam still running very, very well. Almost a three and a half second gap between Cam and second place at the moment. And Joe Martin looks like he's got a slowdown penalty, which he has. Moves to the left, has to let everyone past. He gets going though, he's still within this fight. And that's RS Jim in sixth place there. He is absolutely on fire at the moment. Show good pace, keeps the car going around the corner there, almost sideways. He'll be pushing very, very hard now. The guys in six up to third have got a serious 
serious bullet of a Clio coming up behind them in the form of RS Jim. All the cars screaming through the chicane there. Let's go on board with Scooby here. See Edgar Fraser in the mirror. Blanche Armiga. Let's put a little bit of distance between him and these guys here. Oh, Edu locks up there, goes out wide. Scooby's going to push hard to capitalise on this. He's got a good drive. I don't think he's going to be able to make it stick. Unless he's going to go for a late lunge here. No, he thinks better of it. Joe Fraser has NGL Martin Brevis down his neck here. Just seeing the distance, RS Jim coming up. Oh, Edge Almighty goes into the dirt there. RS Jim seriously closing in on him here. Well, I don't think he is going to give any niceties to any of the drivers here. It's Edge Almighty going off again. Oh, we've got some lag here. So he is still actually in front of RS Jim. Well, that's Edo. I think that's a slowdown penalty. And this is where him and RS Jim got called just before. But RS Jim is going to get past without a problem here, is he? Side by side coming into the chicane. RS Jim gives him plenty of room. Jim, like a great white shark, he'll be tasting blood. Flat to the flashing from Edu there, say go past. Uh, Edu looks like he has a penalty, so does make it difficult for our Jim. Moves out the way, lets him past. But well, Edgy Fraser has now got in front of Scooby. Now Edgy Fraser has to keep off these guys behind him. As this race has gone, that's easier said than done. But Cab did have a three second lead. That gap has reduced astronomically to under a second now. So RCF has really brought this fight to Cam. There's five laps left. So we're on board with RCF here. Both nicely composed. So can calm hold on till the end of the race. I think we'll stick with the onboard for RCF for this lap as he try to fight his way past Cam. RC 
Vasilev looking very cool and composed here. He gets a very good X out the corner. Is he going to be able to find a way past Cam? Is he going to try and find the switch back here? He gets a very good drive. Side by side here. Cam still in front as he throws it through the chicane. Rear left just gets a little touch on the grass. They're approaching a back marker as well. I'm sure the back marker won't make it difficult. Lock up from Cam. Oh, see, I've thrown it through that chicane though. These guys really showing each other what the other one is made of. Oh no, that's a back marker. Ooh, both avoid. I think the back marker moved to try and go on the grass, but it unsettled the car and it just threw it into the oncoming torpedoes that are Cam and RCF. But luckily for both drivers, any incident was avoided, but my God, that was a heart in the mouth moment for these two here. I bet there was some colourful language from the mouths of these two as that actually happened. And we're back with the battle for fourth at the moment. RS Jim still with these guys as well Irish Tim probably feels that he could have been a lot higher up the table probably battling with the top two at the moment and see from the timings there as well about half a second between Cam and RCF now I'll tell you what there isn't half a second between RS Jim and Scooby RS Jim, almost like Scooby Shadow, really. Oh, well, I think RCF has had a moment here. There's now four second gap, which is just increasing. Oh, no, it's decreasing now, but four seconds between him and Cam. So it looks like he had a moment, maybe a slowdown penalty of some sort. Well, here, are, here is RS Jim bringing the fight to Scooby side by side. I think RS Jim's going to take it on this corner. He's going to hold the inside line. RS Jim moves up into fifth. Now has NJR Fraser to deal with. Scooby back side by side with him. Edu. Oh, I thought Edu was going to go for a cheeky move there. Oh, is that, is that lag or is that... I think that might have been a little bit of lag on Scooby's car. I'm not sure. I don't know if it was a little bit of contact with RS Jim, but I think after lap one and, and lap two, RS Jim is not going to be taking any prisoners in this race. Oh, it's a touch from Edu there, but it unsettles Edu's car. I bet, I'll tell you what, if there was any colourful language from Cam and RCF, I bet there's some colourful language coming from RS Jim tonight. So as all this is going on, Amiga has managed to just pull away. Bit of a lonely race for him out in third at the moment. But we'll stick with RS Jim. As I'm lap 15 of 17 as he tries to find his way up to Fraser. And we've got Scooby who's got Edu right on his tail as well.
Oh, he knew goes off into the dirt there. That gives at least Scooby a little bit of breathing space. You can just see the pace of RS Jim. He's already up to the bumper of NGR Fraser. My word, what a race RS Jim has had tonight. Still a four, four and a half second gap between Cam and RCF now on the penultimate lap. I think RS Jim will be happy with any of the points after the, the start of the race, but I think he'll be gutted as well. I think the race stewards might be asking for some onboard footage from some of the drivers tonight. So was Edge of Scooby become airborne? It looked like contact with Edu just absolutely threw him up into the air. Oh, a little bit of contact there from Edge of Martin as well. But not entirely sure what happened, but. Oh my god, it was like an explosion under his car. It threw him well up into the air. Final lap. Cam just over three and a half seconds ahead of RCF. I think it's safe to say this is Cam's race. I think RS Jim will be thinking what could have been. Lots of talking points from this round of our Max Coates Glow Cup. TNJ Amiga just in front of him there as well. Is RSG going to be able to get past NGR Fraser on the last lap? I think that's actually NGR Mad Marshall just in front. There yeah, is a greener arm just in front of them. Light flash of Fraser saying, look, please just get out of the way. Lock up from Fraser there. RSG is going to bring this fight to him all the way. Cam lights flash as he crosses the line. Well-deserved victory for him. RCF takes second. But who is going to take fourth? Joe Fraser just goes out wide there. I think he's yeah, he's done enough to stay in front. Flash the lights from RS Jim. Probably enjoyed the last part of that race. But again, congratulations. Do go out to Cam. One, two, three, Diz. Exceptional in qualifying. And managed to stay in that same position throughout the whole race. RCF did come close to him at one point, but Unfortunately, just couldn't find enough to get past and stay in front. And Jarmiga will be pleased with third. But no, oh, RS Jim, same fourth. Maybe due to penalties. And Jar Martin in fifth. Jar Fraser, I will see at the end what's happened. But it looks like RS Jim has been moved up to fourth. And Jar Martin fifth. And Jar Fraser moved down to sixth. Scooby in seventh. Ayatel eighth. Shadowstalker in ninth. It's a good position for him. 
Greener Army in 10th. Very good position for him. And GR Mad Marshall in 11th. And GR Tim. And of course, Edu, who we don't know. He's currently sitting out in the dirt at the moment. Well, of course, I have to see where he is, but. I'm not sure why his car's not moving. Looks like he might need the track assistance to get his car moving there. But RS Jim, what a race for him. Let's just have a quick look. So, yeah, it was a 10 second penalty for Fraser, 3 for Scooby, Etel 4, and Shadowstalker got 6 seconds as well. So, that pushed those guys up there. So that brings this round of the Max Coates Clio Cup to an end. We will, of course, be back next week, Saturday at half past eight. If you are new to the channel, do click subscribe. And we will, as always, catch you very soon for more Project Cars 2 action from us at Next Gen Racing. Thank you very much for watching and catch you soon.